Hey guys, Beatrix is one of the few marksmen who can still perform very well in the current meta. She either dominates the opponents or just end up feeding. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Raid is back again with even more content for this month. They have released a brand new legendary champion inspired after the one and only Ninja. This hero is actually quite OP. He uses a katana and a bow as his main weapons and not only that, but he can control both ice and fire. Thanks to that, he's extremely powerful against almost any boss in the game, especially the Spire and the Clan boss. Maybe one day I might get a hero inspired after me. Smiley face. This extremely powerful hero ninja is available for free now, so everyone can get him, but he's only available until October 15. Also, this month they're updating and improving the new Doom Tower. Now there are two new bosses to take on, and if you manage to defeat them, you will gain some very epic artifacts and much more. Feel free to download the game using the link in the description, or you can scan this QR code. New players will get the epic hero Chonoru, 200k silver, XP boost, energy refill and an ancient shard. You will find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. I have tried several builds, but I still find the most success with these ones. I feel a lot more confident fighting against the enemy when I have house claws. It just provides so much sustain, thanks to her raw insane damage output. Our team composition is really not the most optimal. We don't have a mage in our team, so I had no choice but to play in the middle lane. That happens often in solo rank, so you just gotta adapt and just play with the card you are dealt with. Our Bacha decides to try to steal the red. It's something unexpected, so it could work. Okay. But unfortunately, the enemy had the same idea, and that strategy kind of backfired. I will say they definitely got a better outcome. When you are playing against Kufra, it's really important that you pay very close attention to the sound effect, turn off the music and use headphones. Not gonna lie, but this lens is pretty decent. There was a good chance they will try to do the turtle next, so we tried to set an ambush. But looking at the map, we are clearly outnumbered. I wanted to gain some gold from the turret, but taking the turret is way more important right now.
Oof, we almost let him escape. A quick look at the map and I saw that there's nobody in their team in the bottom lane. This is the perfect chance to gain as much gold as possible from the turret. And Beatrix is one of the best heroes at completely shredding down the turret. Just remember to use her shotgun and get extremely close to the turret when hitting it. It makes a huge difference in damage. If the enemy doesn't have a lot of CC skills, I like to use Aegis instead of Purify. It's really useful when fighting 1v1. I knew I could take on Harley here, I just needed to make sure to use my dash to dodge his cards. Although I'm doing quite well in the early game, it's far from over. Our team composition just sucks. And this is when the game got a lot more interesting. Smiley face. Lancelot is popping off. I need to farm as fast as possible or we won't have a chance to win. My allies are dropping like flies. Oops, I forgot to use Aegis. I probably could have gotten one more kill if I didn't forget. Harley is becoming a problem, I will need to react faster and use my dash to sidestep his cards. And their Lancer is just getting more and more fed. This is the perfect scenario for a great content. Winky face. I 
I need to pay the utmost attention to my position and during the team fight. One wrong move and I could die instantly. Our fires are really struggling in this game. We are so outnumbered, so I didn't really want to commit to this fight. This Hurley is always on my nut, which is definitely the right play. He knows I'm the major threat for the team and not the jungler. Looking at Hurley's movement, I had a hunch he will try to help his team contest the Lord. One step ahead. What a godly Lancelot. Just attacking the minions to regain some HP. There are enhanced minion waves incoming. Defending is priority right now. Gotta ignore the kills at the moment. I have a good amount of armor, so I seem really scared to fight Lancelot.
I saw Balmain pushing top just a moment ago. Somebody had to go back to defend. Just build her two defensive items and she'll be able to sustain and dish tons of damage at the same time. But still, your positioning has to be impeccable because the enemy will always try to kill you first if you're out of position. <laughs> <laughs> 